So for those who have a very short attention span, all you need to do to fix lag slash slow motion trains in Transport Fever 2 is simply put, lower your population of your entire map. If you want to know how to do this, then continue watching. Hey everyone, James Five Game here, and today in this short tutorial, we'll be looking how we can fix the lag slash slow mo trains in Transport Fever. So first up, you're going to want to head over to the Steam Workshop, and you're going to download this amazing mod called Town Tuning. It should be on the screen now, somewhere here. I'll stick it up there somewhere. Now, once you get it installed, go in your game, enable it, do what you got to do, get the mod enabled, right? And just find any of your towns. In yeah, just found to find a town. So I'm gonna use Manchester for this example here. You should be able to click on Manchester, and you should have a new town up here called Tuning. Click on Tuning, and all you need to do is set this person capacity factor. Just click on one of these. I've already set mine to just the first notch, and then wait until the game unfreezes. So it will it'll take a couple minutes, if depending on your map size and everything. I've already done this and you can already tell from the chart. <laughs> I at one point nearly oh I did have two thousand and it dropped down to uh quite a bit lower, twelve hundred there. So there's that if you if that's all you want to know how to fix the performance on your game and you're using infinite money and you don't really care about the tycoon side of playing transfer either. There you go. That's all you really need to do to be honest. It's just lower the population. And that will solve most of your problems anyway. <laughs> um, but if you do like making lots of money and you have money enabled, then stay tuned for the next part. Lastly, before I forget it, um, just keep in mind you should try to keep your population below 20,000. That's for the whole map, not just one town. Duh. Um, for me, that works really well after 20,000 everything starts to slow down and things just grind to a halt. Um, you can find your town population thing by clicking on your money icon down the bottom left and then you go to charts and then we click on towns and you want to look at the green light at the top and as you can see mine is above 20,000 <laughs> but only slightly and it's still running okay but ideally try to keep it around 20,000 if you can like here ta-da I think is this out of? I think it's out of ain't it? out of mine's only 15,000 oh even better so yeah try to keep it below 20k and you should have a lot less lag anyway like I said if you want to know about the tycoon side of things okay. now this part is mainly for those who just use passengers to make money if you have freight, that alone may be enough to cover the cost of all your passenger trains losing a ton, but that's down to you if you want to decide. So first up, we're going to need a few other mods. There's a first mod called Revenue Adjuster, should be on the screen here, go download that. It's also in the description if I bother to put it there. It's a great mod. And uh, secondly, we need this mod called New Pricing Formulas. Um, Bad name aside, it's a really good mod. That one here. And then lastly, we're going to need a mod called Capacity Slash 4 by LTDX. Again, it's up on the screen now, like this. Again, weird names. But there you go. Anyway, for the next part, we're going to have to switch to the desktop, so I'll be back in a mo. Okay, so first up you want to head to my computer, this PC, File Explorer, whatever your, yours is called. Basically get to this screen like I'm showing now. And you want to open where your Steam is installed and you have Transport Fever. So for most people it would be C Drive, it would be under Program Files 86. You can find Steam, Steam Apps, and we're after the Workshop folder. Anyway, once you've got to this stage where you've got Steam Apps, go Workshop, Content, and then it is a number, I believe, yep, 106680. That's this one here. Open that. And this is all your Workshop once you've downloaded it off Steam. 
Now we click in the top right where it says search, or you can look for the number if you really wanted to. Click search, and then you want to type in the first one, which is 198 uh, Open this, and we should, if I check the preview, we have the revenue adjuster mod. Okay, and then you want to open the mod.lua, make sure to uncheck this, open with notepad, and we're looking for this number here that says default equals minus 0 0.5, and you want to change this to 100, like so, like this, and then file save. Simple as that. That simple. All done. Now you've done that, we want to go click on, click up back here. Just go back and forward if you can to where we look at this. And you want to delete that old search and we want to look for the next one, which it should be on the screen now because I can't read this out very fast. But it is number 197753 search for that, open this one, and you can check the workshop preview if you really need to, and this is the new pricing formula mod. So you want to open mod.lua again, and check this, open with notepad, and you want to set these values, road discount to 30, train discount to 15, wagon discount to 20, Nine. And then you want to set down here which is local capacity factor, let's set that to 6, speed to 4, and then finally where it says local mate equals, just set this to straight up 17, file save. So once you've done that, we want to load up your game and we should be done. So I'll see you back in game. Okay, now we're back in game. You should already notice a difference. We just need to jump into the depots and stuff. So that's why I'm going to do a quick show of some common trains in the depot. Obviously, the depots lag because it's the first time I clicked on this. Um, yeah, so we want to go buy vehicles. Which again, it's going to lag again. There we go. And as you can already tell, if you use these, I don't personally. I don't know why they're enabled, but they are. Trains are rather cheap now. But we also have way less capacity than before, so let's pick out some common stuff that people know, right? So if I go to the dealer tabs, we'll start with like the 150s, right? So we're looking at here, if you look at the more common liveries, I know what, there's a northern one, there should be a northern one somewhere in here. If I want, here we go, here we go, no, northern Arriva, right? So it'll carry, a 150 will carry 16 people, and it's only going to cost you 94,000 a year which if you have a little lines like I do, little local lines, it's perfect. It just works really well. Um, another one, before we go and look at buses and stuff, if we look at the electrics and we go to something like a 3090. Here we go. Those normally, they're normally priced around four and a half, five minutes. They're really expensive basically. It's never, when you've got using smaller towns it never works so if we look at these and we find ones like here we've got the stand-in Nova 2 train here I think it's a Nova 2 that's 585,000 and if you really want the big ones like the Abaki trains they're only going to set you back a million now which might seem cheap when you're carrying only a max capacity of 41 for such a large train, it sort of makes sense. And I think we might even be able to catch a few of that. So here we go. Look. So this is even this losing money still. But by the time this gets to Preston, I'll speed up a bit. Those trains are loud now. Um, this train should turn a profit when it arrives in here. Pretty far. There you go. One and a half million we just made. So that's profiting now. Ideal. Not by a little bit. 
So yeah, it's the last thing we'll look at. It's buses. And our buses are so much more useful than they used to be. Obviously all these, if you really wanted to do like a taxi for whatever reason that carries one person, it's only going to cost you £209 per year. It's nothing. But it's only going to carry one person, you know. So I do use them. But if we look out for like a like first, a first bus, we have up here, these are the more common ones, these, they're only going to be like 1300 a year, and it's carrying six people, these are all the same, same for these, well these are fairly cheap anyway, they're a bit more expensive, two and a half thousand, but they're carrying 11, so. I go somewhere I know we use a lot of buses, which is, uh, oh gosh, Sheffield's a good one. If I can find it. Uh, Sheffield, Sheffield, here we go. Sheffield, I have several bus routes. There's one of these Eclipse buses here. Um, yeah, they're now making 47k on the bus. The buses do really well here and they're always really busy. And I could have more and more buses and still be making money on a bus route. You know, 50k on a bus route, that never happens to drive for either. Anyway, so, oh yes, and finally, with the lower capacity thing, it gives you a reason to use longer trains. If I click this, for example, so this is one fourth, so this normally has, I think it's, I want to say 60, 70 per two. Now it's down to only 20. I have to have a double train to get 40 capacity. So just it gives you that reason to use the bigger train, which normally you wouldn't have. But <laughs> yeah. Now some stops aren't really busy, but there you go. It's not a top of my map by any means. <laughs> anyway, if you found this train this video useful, um, then please give me a like and subscribe if you aren't already. Um, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye guys.